This is Twit. What are you laughing you know, at? <laughs> now I'm wishing that I had titled this podcast Vague But Exciting. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> because that was the comment that Tim Berners Lee's boss wrote at the top of his document, which proposed the creation of something which grew into 30 years ago. Oh, that's hysterical. The World Wide Web. Oh, my God. Vague, but exciting. Vague, but exciting. <laughs> so our picture of the week is a picture of the document. Wow. And you can see in the upper right-hand corner, it says March 1989. So that was 30 years ago. Um, and what is not clear, and I don't, I'm not sure how much time Tim's boss spent staring at this diagram, but this is a self-referential diagram that is a diagram about this document. Because you can see where in the lower right it says CERN, DD Division, OC Group, RA Section, Tim Berners-Lee. So there's a hierarchy, wrote, and there's a, an arrow, wrote this document, which then describes, it's pointing to hypertext, which uh, includes hypermedia pointing down or in, and includes linked information, for example. And anyway, so... Th so it, Hypercard is actually in this document, which is cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and in fact, there was some, some, some commentary that suggested that Hypercard, had it been network aware, yeah. which it wasn't, could have swayed things in a very different direction because i mean it, hypercard might have had a very different future had it been network aware so anyway th th this thing is uh under the heading information management a proposal the abstract and again i don't disagree with the boss who said <laughs> vague <laughs> the ab <laughs> the abstract <laughs> yeah the abstract says this proposal concerns the management of general information about accelerators. Now we're talking about, you know, linear or, or, or circular. I mean, we're, you know, like, you know, uh, atomic accelerators. I can't think of the right word. Uh, particle uh, accelerators. Particle. Thank you. Particle accelerators and experiments at CERN. It discusses the problems of loss of information about complex evolving systems and derives a solution based on a distributed hypertext system. That's all. That means, so there's the abstract. And so you can ma imagine the boss saying, huh? <laughs> That's kind of vague, but, but I'm excited. Uh, anyway, so the point is that it was 30 years ago that Tim wrote this letter or produ produced this proposal, um, which foretold, and, and actually, I mean, from that, over the course of, of sort of some evolution. I have a link to it uh, below the picture if anyone is interested. Um, anyway, I just wanted to, wanted to commemorate yeah, this it's a big 30 deal. years ago history. And uh, so begat uh, what we now know as the World Wide Web. And, uh, and I'm thankful. I mean, it's interesting. He talks about the loss of information. And it we do have... Although there, you know, there is some some, you know, link fade, uh, where you go after something that is, you know, where the domain got lost and and so, something that we were hoping to find is gone. Although we do have the the web archive, and I I found myself several times actually in the, in the past week using the web archive to to find some information which it had grabbed, following links and archiving. When you know of of domains that had since been uh, disappeared, so uh, it's, it's it is nice to have that. But it is also is the is the case that boy, you know, we just anything you want to know. It's I, I I just make so much use of the internet for uh, oh my, yes. you know, expanding my knowledge. 